How would you de-escalate global tensions and keep the United States out of foreign wars? Yeah, uh, do it through peace, through strength. You know, uh, I just saw something where I, I was the only president for 78 years. No war started with. Now I wiped out ISIS. You know, I did a thing that was, I won't go into names, I won't go into specifics, but we did a thing that nobody thought was possible. Did it very quickly. I withdrew from Syria. I withdrew from Iraq. I withdrew. They want to put people back. We're in countries that don't even want us. We're with countries that a lot of you never even heard the names of these countries. You know, there's a great leader, in my opinion, is very strong. Some people say it's terrible to say that, but he is. Viktor Orban, he's the prime minister of Hungary. And they asked him, what would you do? There are wars all over the world right now. He said, what I do is make sure the American people vote for Donald Trump for president, because when he was president, China feared him. I don't want to be feared, but he used the term. I'm not using the term. President Xi is a very tough cookie. But I think they did fear us. China feared him. Russia feared him. Everybody. I even got along with Kim Jong-un. You know, getting along with people with hundreds of nuclear weapons is not a bad thing. You know, they want to make it like a bad thing. It's a very good thing. But peace through strength. They didn't want to mess around. It would have never happened in Ukraine. Russia would have never gone in. Would have never happened. The recent attack on Israel would have never happened. A hundred, I mean, zero percent chance that was going to happen. They see a weak president in our country, and they did something that was unthinkable. So we're going to have peace through strength. We're not going to have to fight. So on the other with side, that, with that being okay. said, you always have to be prepared. And I rebuilt our entire military. And think of it, Biden gave $85 billion worth of our military to Afghanistan so stupidly. Brand new tanks and planes and everything. 700,000 rifles and guns, 70,000 vehicles, many of them armor-plated vehicles. And by the way, people died. 13 great soldiers died. I've gotten to know the families very well. Uh, many horribly hurt. And hundreds of people killed when you include most hundreds of people killed in the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country. So I, I really appreciate the question. And I appreciate very much that uh, you're with me. And I'm with you too. So you. from the other side of the park.